Okay, in this little tutorial, I'm going to show you how to lay in a background. I am using a theme called Magazine Basic, although most themes allow you to add a background, and many of them will allow you to add a background in a very similar way. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and jump out to Google and um, grab a background image. Now, as we've spoken before, there's a couple of pieces that you want to be considerate about in terms of your audience. If you know your audience is predominantly going to come in on a phone or a tablet, you may want to choose a very lightweight background so that it does not overwhelm them, especially if your theme does not automatically switch over for those types of environments. If you believe your audience is predominantly going to work off of a desktop, then um, you can choose a background that can show up when they're looking at it. It's a bit difficult to determine the size and the width of the background that your end audience will be looking at. So you have to kind of choose what's basically a happy medium. In my mind, going with a going with an image that's about 1900 pixels wide is probably a good shot. It wouldn't be so wide that you wouldn't see it once you're on the screen and it would be, on the other hand, wide enough to cover most desktops that are running at 1900 pixels or, or greater. So I have gone ahead and grabbed uh, or researched and found this particular image that I like and I again am in Google and here is the image. The idea here is to go ahead and grab the size that you want. In this particular case I know I want the one that's 1900 pixels wide so I don't know that this thumbnail is going to do that for me. I'm going to go ahead and click on view image and here it is in its larger scale. So now I'm going to right click on it and save image as and I'm going to go ahead and click on save. I'm saving to the desktop on my computer. Of course you can go ahead and save wherever you want. Now that I have that image saved, I'm going to go ahead and come over to my WordPress, go to Appearance. I'm going to go to Customize. Again, most WordPress theme authors have a way of putting in a background. They may have a different process to do that, but many of them will allow you to do it under the um, area that we just dropped into, which is Appearance themes and customize. So going back there, I'm going to go to this background image. And in this particular theme, they have a default soft gray image, which is what um, you were seeing up before. Before I actually do that, let me do one more thing. I'm going to go to the layout. Let me back out of here and show you what I am about to do here. I'm going to open this site in another piece. I am looking at this web quest on a fairly wide screen monitor. So it's wide enough to where I can actually see parts of the background here and here. But if your monitor is not as um, big, you're going to perhaps lose this background altogether. Regardless of that, because I really don't have a lot of content, I may want to shrink up the footprint of the actual web page content area itself. That way I can actually showcase some of my background a little bit more. Once I have more content into my page, I may open it up a little bit more. Let's go ahead and explore how to do that here in this theme. Again, every theme author has different ways about uh, to go about doing these kinds of things. Many themes have these things built in. Some themes are um, a little bit more straightforward and don't have the ability to change columns and width and things like that. But you just have to kind of play with the theme in order to know that. I'm going to come back in. Sorry, I'm going ahead of myself again. Coming back into Appearance, Themes, Customize. Now I'm going to go to Layout. And in this particular case, I know that this theme allows me to drop to 960 pixels wide. I'm also going to, um, I could leave it at the two sidebars, which is what I've got here, but I'm going to go down to one sidebar left, and I do not want this split 50-50 in terms of main content width, 
So I'm going to change that over to 75%. So now I've got my <clears throat> layout the way I want it. Now I'm going to go to my background image and I'm going to click on the drop down. And I've got a choice of upload new, my uploaded file library, etc. I'm going to go ahead and click on upload new or maybe select file. And I'm going to go find that image that I liked or downloaded previously. You can see I've been playing around with this a little bit. I'm going to click on open and that is going to upload into my file library. And here you can see it coming available in my background and here it is laying in my background here. I'm going to click on save and publish. Now I can close this and go back to my WebQuest visit site, but I've already got it running here. I just need to reload it. And there it is in terms of the image layering in this, the background. You can find all sorts of cool images to put on your background. Just remember that you do need to give a citation for them. You can do that under your credits page if that's what you're running on this particular um, website, or you can put it at the bottom of the page that is your main page. Um, also keep in mind that your background as well as any other colors really need to support the concepts that you are trying to push out. So if your theme is a very somber type of thing, I probably would not have chosen a uh, green leafy kind of background. So be careful to choose a background that supports your content and does not distract. Talk to you later.